I really can't get this thing to work, you know. Which button did you say I had to press? Which? I'm pressing that one. It's not doing anything. Well, you didn't say that before, did you? Can I cut that bit out, do you think? I'm awake early most mornings. The light wakes me and I can never get back off again. I've always been like that. Can't bear to lie in. It's such a waste, especially when the weather's so nice. I go down about seven to get a cup of tea. The cat follows me back to bed. I read a book and she sits on my chest, gently purring. We like our routines. <laughs> We've been doing, well, for as long as I can remember. Jim stays in bed and Betty and I get up before eight. Under normal circumstances, I'd be off for my paper before nine, but here I am. It's strange, this, this pandemic thing. In fact, in a lot of ways, it's, it's been better for me. I feel guilty about that. Listening to the news and hearing how so many people have been desperately affected by it. And here I am, sitting in my garden with my cat. And there's nowhere else I would rather be. But don't get me wrong, we've had three trips cancelled. In fact, we should be in the Caribbean right now, as we speak. And the sad thing is that we may never rebook. Jim is getting too old for long trips and... Oh, well, I think my time for travelling is over. I'm tired and I like to be at home. <laughs> the trip I was most saddened to have cancelled was our family trip. We booked this little cottage in. Now, where was it? Do you know, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that village. Jim, where was that cottage we'd booked? No! The one we were going to with a family in June. Oh, yes. Anyway, we were staying at this little cottage, all ten of us. There was Jim and I, the two children, and their children. Both children lived so far away. It's so nice to see them and their families. Oh, I do hope we manage to book that next year. To be quite honest, though, we are seeing more of the grandchildren. We have a family video call every week with all the family, and it's so nice to see them. I would never have considered doing that before lockdown. What I wouldn't give to get in the car and go and see them in the flesh, though. That's the first thing we do once lockdown is lifted. The shopping has been an absolute nightmare. Sometimes Jim has had to stay up until after midnight just to get a Tesco delivery slot. Oh, and I do so hate thinking so far in advance. Sometimes I think, wouldn't it be nice to cook something really nice for dinner tonight? And then I've got no tarragon or some other key ingredient. Such a pain. When this is all over, and I look back, I think I'll miss the 
video calls. The children having time for us and watching the little ones grow up. But I am looking forward to some normality though. Jim, I think I've done it.